uh, the farming lobby really highlighting the, the impact this is having uh, on farmers on the ground. Yeah, that's certainly the case, uh, Richard. We're here at uh, Kilbush Nurseries uh, in North County, Dublin, where brothers Matt and John Foley produce around 15 million tomatoes every single year. Now, they don't export to any other countries. They're sold here uh, in supermarkets right across the country. They have a staff of around 15, which uh, doubles uh, during the summer months. But they've warned that businesses like this, which their father set up back in the 1930s, simply won't survive the current situation. Of course, their big overheads uh, are gas gas, labour and fertiliser. Uh, Matt telling us a little bit earlier that their gas bill last year for a month would have been around 50,000. They use the gas to, to grow these tomatoes. 12 months on, that bill is almost 200,000. So that just shows you uh, the extraordinary price increase and cost increase uh, that primary producers, those in the horticulture sector, are dealing with uh, right across the country. It's a very important sector after dairy, uh, beef and pigs. It's the fourth largest sector in, in the agriculture industry, employing uh, around 6,500 people directly, but a further 11,000 indirectly. Uh, as I say, for the team here, uh, that labour costs, fertiliser costs, uh, along with gas costs, is really uh, what they're dealing with, and they say it's having a crippling effect, the impact at the moment. Our main inputs are, are uh, uh, energy, electricity and gas, uh, labour, uh, fertilisers. And on, in those lines we've seen on the gas this year has gone up by probably about 400%, a minimum of 400%. Uh, electricity is up there with it. Uh, Labour is going up 10% year in year. Uh, Fertilisers are up 100% this year. So it's, it's, we're looking into a very, very dark place. The reality is that if, 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 we don't, uh, if we're not paid uh, uh, better prices, the reality is that there'll be very few in business this year. Now, of course, as consumers, you know, we would have all seen uh, food costs increase in the last, uh, in the last year and particularly in the last couple of months with the cost of living. Uh, but uh, prim primary producers like Matt Foley say they're simply not getting enough uh, from the retailers. They say particularly discount retailers are driving down prices, consumer demand for lower prices and also they, uh, what their uh, imports coming into the country is all pushing the, the price that they get down and that they simply won't survive. The IFA today publishing a report into the sector warning uh, that uh, primary producers will pull out unless things change and saying that they want to see an immediate ban on below cost selling of food in supermarkets right across the country.